headed by the elite banking families out there doing their thing okay to destroy the so-called world and so try to uh, 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 rise up out of, uh, out of, uh, out of that, the so-called ashes of the earth earth like the proverbial phoenix that so they you got it to where you got they're trying to obtain the birthright man this is all about the, the the book of genesis the 27th chapter okay the book of genesis the 25th chapter where it speaks about how that the man jacob okay supplanted the birthright and the heavenly father was with it because he set it up from the foundation of the earth he told her he told their mother man okay he said unto you was going to be two sons born and one shall be stronger than the, 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 the younger was going to be stronger than the older okay esau came out first he was red all over like a hairy garment and jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents and guess what the more side set up to where jacob was going to be the one that was going to inherit the earth this is what we're dealing with here this is what's at play here man okay and that's why i say these negroes hispanic Native americans are asleep because we are the only nation within the earth that doesn't understand that man we don't understand that thing of legacy, man. Okay, all we inherit from our from our parents is is, is dirt. Okay, is is debt and dirt, man. That's all we inherit from our parents. So you have no understanding about legacy, inheritance. All right, this is what the elite banking families are trying to set up for their so-called children. Okay, because they know that they they are they are they they are their children coming back, man. So if they get this so-called thing into motion, and this is what they believe, they, if they get the so-called new world order into motion, and, and they set it up, they feel like they're going to be good. But guess what? It ain't going to play out like that. We go into the book of Job, the 28th chapter, the scripture talks about when he's about to fill his belly, then shall the most size you know, strike him down, man. The Heavenly Father set it up to where, where he, is gonna be, he was going to be in difficulty, right? In the fullness of his sufficiency shall he be in straits. This is what we're talking about right here, man. All these things that's happening within the earth come down to one simple statement, man. Legacy, okay? A new world order being set up, okay? But ultimately what's going to happen is it's not, it's not going to be Esau's new world order that we're going to see. It's going to be the Heavenly Father's new world order that's going to be manifested within the earth. And all of these viruses and this world's war is all a part of the Heavenly Father's plan. And that's why the scripture says that the wicked is shaken in his own craftiness because he thinks he's crafting the path that's going to lead to his supremacy. But he's actually crafting the path that falls into the heavenly father that doesn't fall into the heavenly father's plan that is that is the most size plan man the most i gave the power unto esau and he's going to take the power away from esau he gave him the power to be what to be superior to take over the earth okay to lead, lead to lead these people onto the world's war three and they're leading these people onto the world's war three killing these people by way of this biological weapon okay that's all part of the works of the Heavenly Father because guess what? When we go into the book of Amos, the ninth chapter and the eighth verse, the scripture says that the eyes of the heavenly power are upon the sinful kingdom and he was going to destroy it from the face thereof. That's why you're seeing judgments coming out there. People might say, oh no, that's coming from the man Esau. Oh no, that's conspiracy theories. But guess what? It all comes from the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, shall a, shall a lion roar? Okay, within the jungle and the Mosai hasn't set that lion to roar. Okay, shall a bird fall from the sky and the Mosai hasn't designed the spiritual program for that bird to drop out the sky. The Heavenly Father set, set all of that into motion, man. That's why he's called the, 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 the top power, man. Okay, that's why he's called the most high, because he's above everything he's in, he's, and he's in control of everything. He's outside of time, man. Okay, he's not bound by time. Okay, he created the illusion of time. <laughs> uh, let's continue now with the scriptures now within the book of Joel. Okay, the book of Joel, the third chapter, it says, For behold, in those days and in that time, Behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather the nations together. So when the Mosai is sifting the children of Israel from among all nations that were within the earth, he was also gonna he was gonna also set up these nations, okay, to be coming up against each other. Now the information that's being brought out right now is that America created this biological warfare, and that goes into hand in hand with the book of Isaiah the forty seventh chapter. We might get into that a little bit later on. We might not get into that. But pretty much, um, uh, what's going to be happening is that Esau's uh, 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 um, the opinion of Esau uh, that these nations have is going to become um, obvious. Not just obvious; they're going to put it out there in the forefront. Okay, because for the longest they've been trying to be like all of these nations have been trying to be like Esau. They've been trying trying to be trying to dress like him. They're trying to eat like him. But they're trying to live their life that they like they Esau, right? But now we're getting to the point where they're like, well, hold on a minute. Okay, he's the one that what. That brought death and destruction into the world, man. All right, everybody is turning away from Esau right now because they real, they real, they realizing and they are coming, they're coming into the understanding that this man's the devil. Okay, which devil means what? The deceiver. 
All right, you got Trump out there saying, talking about the Chinese virus, but you're going to find out it's an American virus. Okay. All right, you got it to where uh, uh, Esau's been out there doing all kind of grievous works, man. Okay, and those things are coming to light, man. Everything that he's done in the dark is coming to light. Every, everything that he's done, he's done is coming to, to come into the light. Okay. And let's continue now. The book of Jewel, the third chapter, and the first verse, it says, For behold, in those days and that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather the nations together. So the Heavenly Father is gathering these nations to have that World War III, man. Okay, and the perception of Esau going down is a part of that World War III coming out there. That's why information is going to come out that, they, that it was Esau that had set this whole thing up into motion. Information is going to come out more about all of the different works that Esau's been doing, man. Okay? And it's all going to come to light and everybody's going to realize that this man's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay, he, he went as far as he went to destroy his own people. Okay, look how much cabs there are behind me. <laughs> look at that. It's never like that. You can check the records. Um, and I'll also, bring, I'll also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehovah Shapat, which means the Lord's judgment. And plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and parted my land. So that's what they did unto the children of Israel, man. And the Most High said, this is going to be your judgment. You're going to, you're going to go out there into the World War Three, okay? And in the World War Three, it was going to be, it was going to be beautiful, man. It was going to be beautiful, <laughs> all right? In the, in the stunning words of Trump, all right, it was going to be beautiful, man. Okay, the World's War Three, because the World's War Three is going to be what? It's going to be the judgment of the Edomites, the judgment of the Hamites, the judgment of all of these different nations that are within the earth. Okay. Uh, the judgment of all of these people that are within the earth, okay, that are fought against the chosen people of, the, of, 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 of Israel, okay? That's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be, man. Okay, because like the scripture is saying, this is happening because of the, 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 the things that they have done with it against the children of Israel. Uh, continuing here. No, no, we finished with that. Let's go to, uh, I said I was going to go to uh, Psalms, 147, uh, Psalms 149. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, instead. And then I'll go back onto the famine of the word. And then, um, you know, go in the spirit. Uh, Isaiah 13 and 1, it says, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see, lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain, exalt the voice, uh, uh, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I've commanded my sanctified ones. I've also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even uh, uh, um, uh, uh, I've, called, I've commanded my sanctified ones. I've also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. All right. This is the point, And then, you know, I'll start explaining it from now on. So it says there, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of nations and kingdom gathered together the lord of hosts mastereth up the host of the battle all right and uh pretty much what that is is the heavenly father putting the spirit amongst the into these nations to have the world's war three all right because it is a particular spirit of the heavenly father to have that world's war three uh play out within the earth okay let me see if i can fix my oil zoom hopefully it can fix itself I have worked. It looked like it worked. Okay, because it's the Heavenly Father that has put it within these nations' spirit uh, to, go, to go to war, okay? I've commanded my sanctified ones. I've called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like there's a great noise in the people, a tumultuous noise of kingdoms and nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts, master of the hosts of the battle. So the most size of, is a man of war and uh, war all right is what's gonna end up being um played out within the earth man okay that's the end all be all all right but we're gonna just get to the chip and then the, we're gonna have the world's war three okay uh continuing here it goes on to say um they come from a far country all right from the end of heaven even the lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land but guess who's gonna be saved out of that all right the children of israel is gonna be saved out of that after all is said and done the children of israel are gonna make it up out of the um position of being in slavery man okay they're gonna they're gonna make it okay the elect of the children of israel are gonna make it but as we're gonna see in fact i might go into the back into that psalms 149 all right because as you're gonna see 
the nations are going to go into a, a position of slavery, man. All right, they've been living in large right now. You've seen Esau walking around. Uh, I mean, you don't see so much of Esau walking around today, uh, but you, you've had it to where Esau's been walking the earth and, you know, ruling the earth uh, in unrighteousness. Okay, you had more observing people, uh, you know, garbage. Okay, you had so much things happen within the earth that was essentially uh, 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 nonsense, man. All right. You had, it, you had so much things happen within the earth that was essentially nonsense. But guess what? All right. Uh, 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 it's going to come to a stop, man. Okay. It's going to come to a quick stop. And it's stopped now. You ain't got it to where, you know, the, the usual way of life has been stopped now. Okay. The, the, what, was, what people called regular life. Regular life is on pause right now. Okay. And if, if, if what happens in, if what happened in Italy happens out there within America, oh, Lord. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting sight. If what happened out there within Italy, because Italy is still on and up, okay, their numbers are still skyrocketing, man. Okay, their numbers is going up and up and up. Okay, they're gonna have a day pretty soon where they, it's gonna be like a thousand people is gonna drop dead in one day. Now that's gonna be that's gonna be some judgment, man. You think about it, the most I dropped a thousand people in one day. That's a hell of a lot of judgment, man. A hell of a lot of judgment. You mean that right now the numbers is like 500 in uh, last night. Right, and, and the curve is still going up So it, 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 could, it could easily happen Because remember when you're talking about exponential increase When you're talking about exponential increase You're talking about numbers doubling Quadrupling Okay going up in, in, in You know exponential increase is not like just uh, uh, What's known as linear increase man Alright Something you know the first instance it might double The, the next time it might triple It goes up it, Increasing man Okay uh, the book of uh, Isaiah 13 and 5 it says they come from a far country even the weapons even the end of heaven right uh, they come from a far country from the end of heaven even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land right how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand and it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty and that's it man you have people waiting upon the day of the Lord thinking that it was gonna bring about some happiness towards it man and it's going to be a happiness for some people, but it's going to be a sad day for other people. In fact, if you get that in the scriptures, that's going to be an, a good, sweet scripture to get. A day of the Lord. Okay, Amos 5 and 18. Amos 5 and 18, it says, What unto you that desire the day of the Lord? To what end is it for you? All right, so you got Esau out there that desire the end of the day of the Lord. The proof is, you got, well, the proof is you see it on YouTube, okay? You see it on, um, uh, you've seen it all your life, man. Okay, you got certain Edomites that want, that, that actually think that they're going to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Now, they're going to make it all right, but as we're going to see within the scriptures, they're going to make it as slaves and subjects, okay? It says, War unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it for you? All right, even amongst the Israelites. You've got wicked ass Israelites right now uh, uh, that, that feel like the, the Christian church, okay, and Jesus is going to save them, man. I mean, I, I've been around, we grew up around them kind of individuals, man, that had that superiority complex, okay, that, that uh, 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 um, uh, 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 was known as. Uh, um, I forget the exact term for it. They got a name for it, all right. But they got that 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 Christian mindset, and they they, they tell you all the time they're sanctified, they're saved. A lot of them they ain't sanctified from this corona, man. And that's a beautiful thing. You're gonna see a lot of lot of dudes that were talking greasy, all right, nonsense, talking about how that Jesus has sanctified them, all right, and and they're saved and this that and the third, and the corona is gonna give, give them the death, man. Okay, you got a lot of people out here right now in, 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 in the land of uh, Italy right now that are dying. Okay, and they call them so-called Christian. Where is Jesus to save you? Okay, he's nowhere to be seen because what? Because he don't exist, man. Okay, he's, he, he's not there. But your Shai exists and your Shai is going to deliver his men. Okay, the scripture says that in the time of, of troubles, all right, the man of the Lord was going to be all right. 
But for the rest of the people that was out there within the earth, it wasn't going to be all right, man. Okay, after all the wickedness that they did, man. Okay, adultery, idolatry, all right, covetousness. Okay, all types of just dirt, man. Right, you, I mean, really, when you, when you really, when you really understand what these people are into, because I'm not, I mean, I'm not out there like that, okay? I'm not really out there like that. You know, we, you know, the man of the Lord ain't really out there like that. We just go about our own business, okay? You know, you go about the business of prophesying the word of the Heavenly Father, okay? That's what the men of the Lord do, okay? But when you really come to understanding what these people are into, man, okay, they gotta be destroyed, man. Okay, when you really see how Jake lived their life, man, okay, on a, on a, on a high uh, pork diet, of which when you know it's, when you go into watching um, these different supermarkets, right, when you see these different supermarkets right now, all the meat is gone, but the pork is there. And that le that's letting you know that this whole thing is a setup, man. The whole thing is a setup, man. How can you, how can you have it all of a sudden that pork is the only thing that's available, man? That's a setup because just like in the times of slavery, what was available unto the slaves, the pork was available to the slaves, man. Of which that goes to show you that they was dealing with Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, okay, or not ne Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, but rather more the children of Israel, okay, because the law of the children of Israel is that they, they, they're not supposed to be eating that. So guess what? Now you got another time of desperation, and that's what they're making available to you, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Israelites scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, all right? Soon it's gonna be the only meat that you can get off the shelves. Okay, you better know what to do with them vegetables, okay, uh, and stay away from that meat, all right? Uh, um, but continuing, like I said, the men of the Lord are really just about the, the job of the men of the Lord. They go out there, they teach the word, okay, go to their job, and that's about it, right? But when you really understand what these people are into, okay, they're into some BS, man. Okay, these people are into some nonsense, man. Okay, they ain't, they ain't about anything righteous, man. Okay, they'll... They, they're thieves, okay, they're, they're covetous, okay, they are degenerates, okay, they are, uh, uh, what else comes to mind? Okay, they, 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 they got problems with their mind, man, they got problems with their head, okay, they all got all types of issues, man, okay, they, they're just demons, man, okay, the scripture says that the children of Israel is laden with iniquity, man, okay, so this really is going to come up, this judgment that's coming about upon the earth, okay, it's going to get a lot of people, man, it's going to whack a lot of people out, man. All right, let's continue here um, within the book of, um, uh, I forget where we are now. Uh, Amos 5 and 18 says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Uh, the day of the Lord is darkness and is not light. Okay, the day of the Lord is, is darkness, man. This is the, this is the, this is like, this is a, uh, like a, 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 what you call a, 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 the, the beginning of the day of the Lord, man. Okay. This is like the beginning of it, man. All right, the darkness is starting to cover the whole earth, and it's the whole earth. All right, it's a thing where it's like the whole earth is affected. Okay, the birds above me, I don't want to get shot. On. All right, but this is a thing where like the whole earth is affected, man. Okay, and the same thing is going to happen with them chariots. When the chariots come, everyone within the earth is going to see it, and the judgment is going to come about on everybody. Uh, Malachi uh, 4 and 1, when we say the judgment, Look at that word crisis. Crisis goes into the word judgment, right? It's going to be a crisis onto the whole world. Uh, Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day come and say, If the Lord that shall burn as an oven, again, speaking about the, the ICBM nuclear missiles and the destruction that they're going to bring about, uh, that, and that shall burn up as an oven, and all the proud, yet all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that and, uh, uh, shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, so there ain't going to be nothing, none, nothing left of them. So let's go back to, I forget where we was, Isaiah the 13th chapter now, and then I'll, I'll deal with the, the, the heathens going into captivity, because like I keep, like, we, like I've been saying, man, all right, this, 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 the mercy is going to be only for the children of Israel, okay, the mercy is only going to be for the children of Israel, and what's, what's going to happen to these nations is you're seeing they're going to they're gonna get uh, uh, burnt up, all right, they're going to be burnt up, like, just like how the earth is going to get burnt up, they're going to be burnt up within the earth. All right? But the portion that's going to be left of them are not going to be equal to us. They're going to be sub subordinates to us. They're going to be slaves. Um, Isaiah 13 and 7, it says, Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And that's how they're feeling out there within Italy right now. Okay? All hands are faint, man, out there within Italy. And you know what? Right now, it's kind of like surreal. We don't feel like it's here because it ain't really here within the UK like that. I don't think they... I mean, they got 200 people that have, have died, okay? But 
Italy had lost like 500 people in one day. One day in 24 hours. <laughs> That's a lot of people, man. Okay, so when it, when, it, when it starts ramping up there within the UK, within here in the UK and out there within um, the US, that's when it's going to be beautiful, man. All of these major cities, of which I don't really live in a major city, all right, uh, um, but you've got brothers and, 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 and different uh, 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 camps, okay, that are out there within the major cities, all right, uh, and even the city that I'm living in, it's going to be like a ghost town, man. I mean, you can see it right now. It's like a ghost town right now. And like the scripture says, all hands shall be faint, okay? But that's not just the, the that's not the, the full uh, 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 manifestation of that prophecy. That's not the full fulfillment of that prophecy. When you get into the World War Three situ situation, at least, you know, even if you look at Italy right now, okay, right, you know, maybe 600 people died today, all right? Maybe 800 died tomorrow, maybe 900 died the day after, all right? But the city is intact, if you understand what I'm trying to say. The city is... Um, what do you call it? Is 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 you can look at it like how you see right now. You can look at the city and just say, "Oh, okay, maybe it's like like January or December where nobody's out here," because that's what happens during those periods of time, like the so-called Christmas. There's nobody out here in so-called Christmas, man. This whole place is shut down. But check it out. When you have that particular situation play out, uh, play out with, out there within Italy, right? Everybody's looking and they're saying, "Okay, this is gonna come to an end, and then everything's gonna come back to normal." What happens when you have a World's War Three type scenario? Okay, when you have a, a not a type scenario, but when where World, World's War Three breaks loose, because World War Three is coming, man. Let me check my light. World War Three is coming. Okay, World's War Three is coming, man. Okay, that's that's what's that's a that's a most definite. All right, World's War Three is coming to the earth, man. That is an in, 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 inevitability. Okay, World's War Three is coming. So when World War Three is here, all right, 